We've done something big. We've taken a group of world-renowned hospitals, schools, and research facilities and connected them in a uniquely effective way, thinking and planning with our neighbors and with our community. We've developed a vision of progress and growth for our city and beyond. And now, that vision is becoming a reality. In just over 10 years, the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus has become an indispensable part of life in Western New York. It's home to groundbreaking medical care. The Niagara Medical Campus in downtown Buffalo, New York has brought economic success to the region. It's also a national model of how coordinated innovation and entrepreneurship can drive economic and civic growth. The medical campus started out as one hospital building, Roswell Park, and has now expanded into four hospitals and the University at Buffalo's Medical School, promoting the synergy of EDS and MEDS. The Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus demonstrates how responsible energy use, thoughtfully planned transportation, and tools for healthy living can make people happier and more productive. These were all empty. Wow, so nice. Five years ago, those were all empty. We see the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus and the neighborhoods it touches as a single community, a community that's central to Buffalo's amazing rebirth. We're proud of that and everything we've accomplished together so far. But guess what? We're just getting started. characterizing Jim and I and 3,000 people on No Hospital Downtown on Facebook saying that we're passing around fiction and misinformation. But all we're asking for is all the information and for honesty. The first shovel hasn't hit the ground, but the digs are flying. Accusations of racism and homophobia in the form of memes and other Facebook posts on the No Hospital Downtown Facebook page. One is a mock-up of an invitation to County Executive Anthony Pacenti's fundraiser, which lists prices as $65 per person, $100 per straight couple, $1,500 per gay couple, and prohibits mixed-race couples. The thing of it is, it doesn't embarrass me in that regard. It embarrasses them. Another poster suggests someone wear a Washington Redskins jersey to an event in honor of Oneida Nation Representative Ray Halbritter, also expected at the event. Our members are passionate, and they're far more creative than either Brad or I. And they do come up with interesting comics and, and memes, um, and some are quite funny, and some are quite edgy. But remember, when you're David, and you're going up after Goliath, you got to make a little hay every day to get hurt. This is the this is the one building they use in all their pictures. They see the beautiful look at look at the beautiful Jones building. Look at the architecture up above. Don't look at the first floor, and you realize these buildings can't be reproduced today yeah. with that kind of craftsmanship. We want to know. Everybody wants to know whether you're a nurse or a doctor or you're part of the plan or not. Well, I don't see where people are draw the line there and how they can make a. A pragmatic decision without all the facts, and I think that's what's it's been so, just so disappointing. I, 
I think everybody's 100% for the, for the hospital, especially with this incentive we're going to get. And I think it's going to be more efficient, but everybody's affected here. What are the driving forces that promote a downtown hospital? It seems so illogical in view of all the ways that St. Luke's what isn't being said. So I want to talk about the casino as well, because there's a proposed U District coming to Utica. Do you support a casino nope. being in Utica? You don't want a casino in nope. Utica. Why do you not want a casino I in Utica? I just don't believe it's the quality of life that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, uh, the county executive who was on yesterday, uh, Anthony Pacini, talking about the plan, the entertainment uh, zone that's being created around the odd and in the odd, right. um, outside the odd, the potential of the beer, craft beer uh, museum, um, and then, of course, uh, $50 million invested from the Oneidas uh, to build a small casino there. Where do you stand on, the, on that? Yeah, well, I met with the county executive a few nights ago, uh, myself and a few other people, and he showed us what, uh, what the vision was. Uh, let's, let's start out with the, the story yesterday in the, in the OD, the mayor. We kind of always knew, based on what we were hearing, and uh, we, it's out there now. He's against it, so you now have a foe in that department. What are your What are your thoughts on yesterday? Well, I mean, you started by saying we, we kind of knew that. I didn't know that because I had presented it to him prior to my speech. You know, he had talked previously about, you know, and we had had discussions previously about, you know, some a casino 